so I'm going to do you a smoky eye tutorial using our Addictions palette too. This is our silvers and cool colours. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. I'm actually going to use um, some of the rose water as well in this one to show you what I, what we can achieve for liquid eye as a liquid gel eyeliner. So I'm going to start off with haven't used this palette too much at the moment, so still uh, figuring it out. I'm going to start off with Romantic, uh, which is this sort of light silvery colour, um, and I'm going to use that as a base. Just going to brush off my brush, make sure there's no purple on there from this morning. Okay, so I always give my brushes a tap. We've already primed our eye and now I'm going to cover my eye in this colour completely. It's got such a nice colour. Go right up to the brow. Not too fussed about coverage. Just want to make sure that the whole lid is covered. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. I always, always repeat on one eye onto the other. Never do a whole eye and then try and recreate the same look. Just do, just copy both lids. Haven't added any more products, I've just used what was on my brush. Um, and then I always blend with a clean blending brush. Just to soften. Okay. So, I've got my base colour on and now I'm going to work in the next colours. So, I'm going to do next, I'm going to do Honourable um, and I'm going to use my angle brush. I'm going to work that into the crease and actually all over the bottom part of my lid. You see with this brush, I'm actually putting the tip of the brush in my crease and then angling the rest of the brush up. So I'm actually going over my socket. Just to get some depth. You see? And then repeating on the, the second eye. So again, I'm covering my whole lid first. Still working that into the crease. I'm focusing most of the product into the crease. And then again, I'm adding a little bit more. And then I'm turning my brush around and working the product up over the crease. Okay, and once I'm happy, I'm going back in with my blending brush always and just softening that blending that in just all over okay and then I'm going in with my pencil angle brush I'm gonna go in with Cocky. I've used um, matte tones rather than 
sparkly but I am going to add some sparkle so I've got a little bit on my brush I'm going into the corner I'm working it up and sort of like a C shape And sort of two thirds in should apply a bit more. I'm working that into the crease again. I am slightly dragging the crease higher than the bottom and then again put my I'm getting my blending brush I'm actually bringing that blend right down into the corner but I'm using such a light pressure that not taking it into the corner if you know if you can see what I mean okay and then repeating on the second eye I haven't been in an accident, so I don't need to answer that. Okay, oh, we can add some more to this one to see if I feel like it's better. Again, blending. Be careful when you're blending not to take too much of the product off, that's why you use a light hand. Okay, now, using my oh, angled shadow and sponge brush, I'm going to spritz some of the rose water on the sponge end. And then I'm going to use Blissful and I'm going to do the creases. Okay, so I've got my shadow like this and I'm going to use the patty motion. And then I'm going to repeat again on the other side. The rose water just makes it so much pop so much more it's lovely I love it okay and then using my um, angle brush I'm going in with perplexed which is this color and I'm gonna um, just do under my waterline
and I'm just going to soften that with a little bit just here. love it so that would be my finished look for my eyes um, but I am gonna show you guys how I create as best as I can a gel liquid liner so again get my rose water I spray one pump in the lid Then getting my angle brush that I use for the under lids. I'm going to use Peppy, which is this black colour. So I'm going to damp my brush in the lid, the rose water, and pick up Peppy. Again, I'm going to dip it back in my brush. And then I'm just going to dot it on my on my skin. So you're creating like a paint type thing. Okay. And then And then just repeating the other eye. Brilliant. Love it. Any questions? Let me know. Thank you.